Hello, my name is Alexandra Richard and I'm meeting Thomas Keller today. Hello. Hello. So, could you introduce yourself for a moment? Well, I'm Thomas Kellner and I'm an artist living in Siegen. In Siegen I studied economy, politics, sociology, art and art history. And what do you do exactly? Can you describe what you do? Well, in easy words, I'm uh, smashing houses. I destroy them. No, um, a little bit more complicated is uh, a definition that was invented by uh, Irina Chmyreva from the Russian Academy of Arts in Moscow, who defined my work as visual analytical synthesis um, based on the terms of Kant. I like uh, upon that definition very much that it connects with the analytical and synthetical cubism in the history of art. Have you had any success with your work so far? Well, I believe so. Um, I have my work uh, now in around 30, 40 museums in the world. Among them is the George Eastman House, uh, the Art Institute of Chicago, uh, the Baltimore Museum of Art, or the Museum of Modern Art in Rio de Janeiro. I got around 30 monographs about my work and was able to show my photographs in roughly 500 solo and group shows on all continents. And so I managed to make a living on my print sales since 2004. You said something about cubism. What do you do? Well, in my images, I investigate mostly uh, the possibilities of movement within a 35 millimeter contact sheet, which originally was used by photographers just to uh, choose a single image for enlargement. And those movements range from rough to fine, from contrasting to swinging or to softly settling down. And how did you get there? I remember that I wanted to become a photographer, but my parents uh, didn't like that idea and uh, persuaded me to become a uh, teacher. So. I went to university to study art, art histories and social sciences. And when I started, I mainly wanted to do painting, but discovered very early the uh, newly discovered uh, pinhole photography and many uh, experimental techniques that were discovered in that, that time in the 90s and started to work with pinhole cameras on landscape, on nature, but on human beings also. It's like today I'm working on landscape again and themes like uh, architecture, human being, nature always return periodically. And uh, after my studies, but, uh, I work mainly on architecture. But my work also includes statements on current political events, such as the wave of refugees in 2015, with an installation commemorating those who were no longer able to flee, or the rise of right-wing extremists and a new brown language, which I countered with a participatory uh, work made of Linocats. I really love my job, the freedom, the travels and the works of art that I can leave uh, with my hairs.